let's talk. There's a lot of things to learn when it comes to photography, but we're going to break it down. Shutter, ISO, and aperture. These are the three elements that make up the exposure triangle. Let's start with shutter. The oversimplified version of shutter is the lower the number, the more motion blur you're going to have and the brighter your image is going to become. And vice versa, the higher the number is, you're going to have less motion blur and your image is going to become darker. But here's the actual definition. The shutter is a mechanical or electronic device inside of a camera that controls the duration of time that light hits the camera sensor or film and it determines how long the camera sensor slash film is exposed to light which will affect the brightness and motion blur of the image. A faster shutter speed freezes action while a slower shutter speed will create motion blur. That was a lot. ISO. ISO isn't very difficult. Basically, the higher the ISO is, the brighter your image is going to be, and the lower your ISO is, the darker your image is going to be. But you have to be careful because if you bump up your ISO too high, then noise will start to appear in your image, and noise doesn't look very good. But here's the actual definition of ISO. ISO is the camera sensor's sensitivity to light. The lower the ISO means less sensitivity, which gives a clearer image with less noise and brighter conditions. A higher ISO increases the sensitivity, which allows for better exposure in low light conditions, but can introduce grain slash noise in the image. ISO is pretty simple compared to the others. Next, we have aperture slash f-stop. In simple terms, the higher your aperture number is, the less depth of field you're going to have and the darker your image will become. And the lower your aperture number is, the more depth of field you're going to have and your image is going to become brighter. If you don't know what depth of field is, basically it's the blurry background that you see in a lot of photos. So more depth of field equals more blur and less depth of field equals less blur. But like always, here's the actual definition. Aperture is the adjustable opening in a camera lens that controls the amount of light entering the camera, which also affects the depth of field with the larger aperture lower f-stop number, it creates a shallow depth of field and more background blur. A smaller aperture, higher f-stop number increases the depth of field, which keeps more of the image in focus. Now that you know what the exposure triangle is and what the parts of it do, you should be able to come up with a pretty pleasing image. But that's just how to expose your image right. If you really want a pleasing image, then you should probably learn composition, focus, white balance, lens choice, post-processing, perspective, and angles. Then I can assure you, you will have a pleasing image. Probably.